Hello students, in my previous video I have completed sums of 6a from class 10 chapter 6 and today I am starting 6b. Now sums of 6b are based on two theorems which are called angle bisector theorem and internal bisector angle theorem. Now according to this theorem, the internal bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side internally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle. Suppose ABC is a triangle in which AD is the bisector of this angle, so angle 1 equal to angle 2. In that case, AB by AC will be equal to BD by DC. This theorem is called internal bisector angle theorem. In case of exterior bisector angle theorem, suppose ABC is a triangle in which angle XAC is the exterior angle. And here AD is the bisector of this angle, so AD has bisected the angle x a c in that case it will be a b by a c will be equal to b d by d c this theorem is called exterior bisector angle theorem and sums of 6 b are based on these two theorems in 6 b question number one is in triangle a b c a d is the bisector of angle a intersecting the side b c at d if AB equals to 5 cm, AC equals to 4.2 cm and DC equal to 2.1 cm, then we have to find the length of BD. Since AD is the bisector of angle BAC, so we can write BA by AC equals to BD by DC. Now AB in the question it is given that 5 cm, AC is 4.2 cm equals to BD and CD is given 2.1 cm. Now if you cross multiply 4.2 into BD will be equals to 5 into 2.1. So BD equals to 5 into 2.1 divided by 4.2. Now if I multiply 2.1 and 4.2 by 10 it will become 21 and 42. So in the next line it will be 5 into 21 by 42. Now 21 to the 42. So if I cancel 21 and 42 it will be 2 and 5 by 2 is 2.5. Therefore, required length of BD is 2.5 cm. I hope first part is clear. Let me show second part now. Here it is given AB equals to 3.5 cm, AC equals to 4.2 cm and BD equal to 2.3 cm and we have to find the length of CD. Here AD is the bisector of angle BAC. So from angle bisector theorem we can write AB by AC equals to BD by CD. Now, AB given in the question 3.5, AC is also given 4.2 equals to BD is 2.3 and CD is not given. Now if I multiply by 10, 3.5 into 10 35, 4.2 into 10 42, 2.3 into 10 23 and 10 into CD. Just to remove this decimal we have multiplied all the numbers by 10. Now 7 5 ja 35, 7 6 ja 42, so from this part we will get 5 by 6 equals to 23 by 10 dc. Now if I cross multiply 5 into 10 it will be 50 dc equals to 6 into 23. So 50 dc equals to 6 into 23 it will be 138. So dc equals to 138 by 50. If you divide 138 by 50 you are going to get 2.76 centimeter. Therefore required length of dc is 2.76 centimeter. Though all the sums of number 1 are of the same type, still let me show this sixth part. Here it is given if AB equals to 10 cm, AC equal to 6 cm and BC equal to 12 cm, then find BD and DC. In this sum it is given that AB equal to 10 cm, AC equal to 6 cm, BC equal to 12 cm and we are to find the length of BD and CD. Now we can consider here let CD this part be X. If this part is X then this part that is BD will be 12 minus X because the full length is 12. If I consider this part to be X then this will be 12 minus X. Since in this sum AD is the bisector of angle BAC so we can write AB by AC AB by AC equal to BD by CD that is BD by CD. Now AB as given in the question it is 10 centimeter. AC is 6 cm equals to BD, BD is 12 minus X by CD is X. Now 10 and 6 can be cancelled by 2, so it will be 5 by 3. Now if I cross multiply 5 into X, 5X, 
equals to 3 into 12 minus x. So 5x equal to 3 12 cha 36 minus 3 into x thrice x. If I transfer minus 3x in the left hand side, then it will be 5x plus 3x equal to 36. So 8x equals to 36, x equals to 36 by 8. Now if I cancel by 4, 4 2 ja 8, 4 9 ja 36 and 9 by 2 is 4.5. So we got x equals to 4.5. Now BD, we have considered 12 minus x. So it will be 12 minus 4.5 and 12 minus 4.5 is 7.5. And CD, already we got X is 4.5, therefore CD is equals to 4.5. So these two are the required answers. In first part of question number 2, it is given, check whether AD is the bisector of angle A in triangle ABC with the following cases. Here it is given AB equal to 5 cm, AC equal to 10 cm, BD equals to 1.5 cm and CD equals to 3.5 cm. And here we have to check whether AD is the bisector of angle A or not. AB is 5 cm, AC is 10 cm, BD is 1.5 cm and CD is 3.5 cm. And we have to check whether this AD is the bisector of angle A or not. Here we have to use converse of angle bisector theorem. So first of all we are going to check the ratio of AB and AC. If I take the ratio of AB and AC, AB is 5 and AC is 10, so 5 by 10, it will give 1 by 2. Again, BD by CD, BD by CD, BD is given in the question 1.5 cm, CD is 3.5 cm. Now, if I multiply both by 10, it will be 15 by 35, 5, 3 is 15, 5, 7 is 35, so here we got 3 by 7. So, AB by AC is not equals to BD by CD. Since these two ratios are not same, therefore AD is not the bisector of angle A. In second part of question number 2, it is given AB equal to 8 cm, AC equals to 24 cm, BC equals to 24 cm and BD equals to 6 cm and we have to check whether AD is the bisector of angle A or not. Here it is given AB equal to 8 cm, AC equals to 24 cm. Here it is given that BC is 24, B to C is 24 and B to D is 6. Since this part is 6 and total is 24, so CD will be 24 minus 6, that means 18. So CD we can write 18. Now we are going to calculate the ratio of AB by AC first, then BD by CD. Now if we take the ratio of AB by AC, it will be 8 cm by 24 cm. So 8 by 24, if I cancel by 8, 8 1 by 8, 3 8 by 24, so it will be 1 by 3. Again, BD by CD, it will be 6 by 18. If I cancel by 6, it will be 1 by 3. So in both the cases, we got 1 by 3. So AB by AC equals to BD by CD. Therefore, AD is the bisector of angle A. In question number 3 it is given in the figure, triangle ABC is such that BD by CD equals to AB by AC, angle B is 70 degree, angle C equals to 50 degree and we have to find angle BAD. So we have to calculate BAD, that means angle 1 we have to calculate. Now in this sum it is given that BD by CD equal to AB by AC, angle B is 70, C is 50. And we have to find BAD, that means angle 1 we have to calculate. Now, since it is given that BD by CD equals to AB by AC, that means AD is the bisector of angle BAC or we can say angle A. So we can write AD is the bisector of angle A, that means angle 1 equals to angle 2, therefore angle 1 equal to 2, let it be equation number 1. Here, sum of three angles will be 180 degree by angle sum property. Here BAC we don't know, angle B is given 70 and angle C is 50, so we can write angle BAC plus angle B is 70, angle C is 50 equals to 180 degree. So angle BAC plus 70 plus 50 is 120 degree equals to 180 degree. So angle BAC equals to 180 minus 120 which is 60. Now angle BAC is the sum of angle 1 and 2, so we can write angle 1 plus angle 2 is 60. Since both the angles are equal, we can write angle 1 plus angle 1 is 60, twice angle 1 is 60, 
So angle 1 is 60 divided by 2 equals to 30. Therefore, angle BAD equals to 30 degree. This is the required answer. In question number 4, it is given that in the figure, A is the bisector of exterior angle CAD intersecting BC produced in D. If AB equals to 10 cm, AC equals to 6 cm and BC equals to 12 cm, then find CE. So in this triangle ABC, AE is the bisector of exterior angle CAD. So these two angles are equal. Here it is 10 cm, this is 6 cm, this is 12 cm and we have to find the length of CE. In this case, AE is the bisector of exterior angle CAD. So we can write AB by AC, AB by AC equals to BE by EC. Now AB in the question it is given it is 10 cm, AC is given 6 cm, so it will be 10 by 6 equals to BE. B2E, suppose this part is X, so BE will be 12 plus X and EC will be X. 10 and 6 can be cancelled by 2, so it will become 5 by 3. Now if I cross multiply 3 into 12 plus X equals to 5 into X, 5X. 5 3 12 is 36 plus 3X equals to 5X. 36 equals to 5X minus 3X. 36 equals to 5x minus 3x is 2x. So x will be 36 by 2 and 36 by 2 is 18. Since c is x, therefore c equal to 18 centimeter and this is the required answer. I hope question number 4 is clear and question number 5 is not so important for exam purpose. Still if you want you can try this sum. So that's end of 6b. In the next video, I am going to show sums of 6D because 6C is not the inner syllabus. Okay, till then, bye-bye, take care and wait for the next part.